It's the Zach Sang Zach Sang Show. Show. Zach Sang Show. <laughs> Look at you, it is the Zach Sang Show. Liz Gillies in the studio, everybody! Okay. I'm back! Okay. okay. Sex, drug, is, and rock and drug roll. Is. <laughs> no, no. We're off to a bad start. SDRR, FX, yeah. June 30th. It's going to be amazing. You, you got the date right this time. Yes, ma'am. Just because it's nine days away, you have to. I, I, I got to get it on point, but I've also, I watch FX, as you know. I'm a huge yeah. fan of the network. Sure. I love seeing your face every time on the, uh, the FX app, you know, promo commercials. Uh-huh. They don't always run real commercials so they run the same promo over and over uh-huh. oh my god I'm so excited to see you I haven't seen you in so long you know the last time yeah it's been a, because I haven't seen you since you went away to New York to shoot this the season no when did I see you before that we we we, we went to Chateau or Crossroads? Really weird night. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it Sorry. sounds obnoxious, but it actually wasn't. Oh, right. I made you eat the vegan place. But yeah. you ate the food. You said I'm, it was fine. I'm obsessed with I it know. now. Everybody, I know. Everybody, I took a Leon and, and Matt, and they did, not, they did not care for it. I don't. It doesn't seem like a Leon Thomas thing. He was like, I would love meat. And I'm like, that's going to be a challenge here. No. It's all fake stuff, Dan. You would enjoy it. Yeah, well, vegan restaurants. Do you restaurants, like fake stuff? Well, no, I'm a vegetarian, but vegan restaurants usually suck. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, this one, so this one, <laughs> it's like harsh. This one is, um, <laughs> well, usually good is. morning. This one is um, great. It's um, shameless plug. It's called Crossroads. Yes. It's really, really good. It's really good. I think you'd even, you'd like it. Dude, chicken and waffles, the best chicken, chicken and waffles. Palm. I ordered them every single day last mm. year. I went, I went on a big, I, well, I lived in Williamsburg this year in New York when I was filming but, the show. How was that? <laughs> I mean... Uh, there was great food. Okay. It was a great location for me because we shot but, a lot of the stuff in Williamsburg, so I didn't have to travel that much. N- what? Top two or three worst human beings I've ever been around <laughs> in my life. <laughs> Which, I'm sorry, I can say it. it it's weird because I figured, like, I'm like, I'm listen, I'm like a New Yorker. I'm from yeah. New Jersey. I spent so much time in New York. This will be great. So Williamsburg's not no. quite even in Brooklyn. It's its own <laughs> thing. It's the LA of New York, I think, is the weirdest place I've ever been. Yeah. And I lived right by the Rainbow Bagel Shop. Oh, oh my God, Thompson's Bagel. Where, the, the, right? Or they this make... is a different one, but they sold oh, the Rainbow Bagels. They look, I follow them on Instagram. I'm, I'm obsessed. That's fun. Like, I, I, sure, but... Did you eat one? <laughs> no. It's an interesting story, but it's kind of boring. But I, it, was, it was right there, and so there would be a line every, every single day mm-hmm. around the block for the Rainbow Bagels. And I would, I'd be like, wow, they must be so delicious. And everyone was like, well, we have actually never tried them. And I'm like, to wait on line. No, to wait on, because it was like a two hour wait. So like to wait on line for two hours for something you've never had, just, and then then take an Instagram with them. And I swear to God, I one time saw somebody take an Instagram with the bagel and just drop it after. But, <laughs> on the street, didn't take a bite. They're like, I'm not eating that shit. But they wanted the Instagram. It blew my mind. So one day I went in there. I was never going to have one. I was very adamant about that. I thought it was so stupid. I went in there. Unfortunately, the bagels were out of control. Amazing. I had a normal bagel, but then the dude recognized me. He was really cute. And he gave me a big bag. And he's like, just take this home. And I'm like, there better not be rainbow bagels in here. And he's like, just take it home. And I opened it and it was a plethora of rainbow bagels. <laughs> oh. I didn't try one because it has like sprinkle cream cheese on it. It's like a full birthday cake experience. Yes. Which I find silly. You've lived out my dream. I like all of their photos on Instagram. I'm a Obsessed with their bagels. They're, yeah, they're, I, they were actually the bagel I had was pretty incredible. I have to say, I've, yeah. I've got to give it to them. It wasn't that same place, but it was amazing. But it is sad that we live our life for Instagram, I right? Don't, I don't. No, I mean, you, like I do. I love a good selfie, but am I going to wait online and take a picture? But have no. a prop? I don't think so. <laughs> I'll position my dog weird for an hour and have it'll be crying. Like leave me alone, stop touching me. I'm like got the shot, bye. But I will never. Not a bagel. <laughs> sex That's silly. Sex drugs <laughs> and rock and roll season two. How are we feeling right now? It. I, I came on the show last year and I was like, it's so risque, which yeah. is sweet. It's. <laughs> it wasn't at risque this year. Yeah. It's. Um. To give you an idea, I got the episodes. They sent me half the season, and uh-huh. my parents re- really wanted to see them because I always just send them right to my parents. Lori I say, Gillies, enjoy it. my heart. Lori forever. Gillies, David Gillies, George ah, Gillies, the best, and the Gillies. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I, my mom was like, "Can I see them?" And I, and I was like, "Hey, like, wouldn't it be fun to watch them live?" I can't send them to them. The, you, you, uh, I'm, it, I'm, I'm riding a man. Uh, oh. I am. I am slapping. I'm like what? doing things. I'm, I'm a lesbian half the season. Wow. Yeah. Which How is, is not bad. It's just, it's graphic. A lot of the stuff's very graphic. Do you enjoy channeling that side of you? With the lesbian side of me? <laughs> I know. I know. You what... know there's a lesbian side of oh, me? Oh, yeah. I know one exists. Because I'm, which part? Why? I, you know, somebody <laughs> tagged me the other day in uh, the photo of you and Ariana kissing. Tread carefully. Yeah. Well, <laughs> 
<laughs> By the way, that's my only experience kissing a girl. So when I had to do this what? scene where she, mm-hmm, I know, as I told you, I don't, I never had a childhood or a teenage life. So um, I never went to college. So or high school. you would have hooked up with a girl in college. I don't know what I would have done. In, I think I don't so. know what I would have done. But okay. anyway, so this girl and I, she and I, I, I was honestly hoping she would be a lesbian. So she'd be like, hey, walk me through it. Yeah. How do we make this kiss look great? And, mm-hmm. and I was just, I was nervous. And luckily my character in the show is equally as freaked out. She's so freaked out. And she's, I act, have you ever seen I Love You, Man? I yeah. act like Paul yeah. Rudd and I Love You, Man. I like, I can't like stand, I'm like fumbling. I'm like, I can't look at her. It's, it's, it's all physical comedy, which was actually really fun for me, but it's pretty much exactly how I would have handled it. Wow. Um, but the girl's really great. Her name is uh, Rebecca Naomi Jones and she was in Hedwig actually on Broadway. And she's cool. an American idiot. She's so cool. So, are you naked in front of this girl? Or who no. are you naked in front of in this? Uh, John Corbett. Uh, oh, wow. Yeah. What is it like to, to like Aiden from Sex and the City? Wow, is um, that like a dream? Is that like a that's a weird thing for you? Um, it was. I just, I just, it's not fun to be around people and have your top off. It's never fun. It sounds fun, <laughs> but it's not. And it's, I, it's, I, you, everything you think you know about. Oh, this is what I would do, and this, it, it yeah. goes out the window once you. I got nervous, but it was fun. It's a very mild. It's a very mild. It's more comedic I, than anything, but it freaked me out. I, <laughs> I started, I put like a strapless bra on. I'm like, this is as much as you're seeing. You can see the side and they're like, okay. And then the camera was catching and I'm like, all right, well then I'll put little cut, like, you know, like the cutlet yeah, things yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. And by the end I was in pasties. <laughs> <laughs> so do we see your boobs? <laughs> you, you see, um, you see some, uh, you don't see my nipple. You can't on FX. Oh, you sad. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Um, but you see, I'm sorry guys, but you sorry. see like, you see, like me doing the stuff. <laughs> Can't wait to you see, see like a jiggle. Because here's the other thing: like I, yeah. have, I don't have small boobs, so they're, no. they're. I'm no. not saying they're low riders, but they're not like they're not perky little fake boobs. So like I slapped him, and all of a sudden there's like a riptide up here. That gets, and I'm like, guys, it's not cute. And they wanted me to lay down. They're like, how about you lay down, and it'll be really, it really, we'll see like a really sexy cleavage. And I'm like, yeah. Whoa. <laughs> where, where are you gonna under my armpits? Because that's yeah, where my boobs go, go side, when I lay right? down. Yeah, I'm like, you're talking about like, this is it's not gonna be cute. All I'm doing is looking at your boobs, bro. Don't you do look that. At, you look phenomenal today. Thank you. You always like, do. Every, good you save. always do. No, you. Really, I love your shirt. Oh, I wish thanks. we could zoom in on your shirt, but I know it's not like that here. <laughs> 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 we can get an insert shot later. Yeah. <laughs> how, what have you been up to? L- life is good here. I mean, how, uh, yeah, I'm very I, impressed by the studio. Every time I come back, improvements. I gotta show you the brand new one. We have a new one being built across the street. No, no, no! <laughs> it's not done yet. It's not done. Okay. It, 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 Someone tells me if like Ariana came through, you'd you'd get that thing done and you'd throw her no, in there. I, this, no. gets, this is like your garage. It's probably not even your studio <laughs> in here. No. This is this is where we just we, we throw people here. No, it's yeah. beautiful. I love this place, but we have a. It's coming. It's gonna come at July. I think it, it'll be nice. Like end of July, top of August. Okay. It's gonna be pretty, but life is good. Good. You, I've been, you know, I wa- I watch all of our old videos together all I love the time. Them. I watch them too. They're, they make I, me laugh. They're like home movies. They really are. I mean, they are classics. They really are. We make the mistake of not hanging out before them, so we actually just kind of <laughs> have real life conversations, and then we record them the, and put them out. This is usually it. This is usually it. How are you doing? Everything doing great. Home going. Go- you told me you got a new animal. No, I'm getting a new animal. I think. Okay, number I want six. A French bulldog. I know, number six. Well, we had a cat that lived outside and wouldn't name Muffin Brains. <laughs> I didn't name it. Good name. <laughs> cat's like 112 years old. I I keep googling when do cats die, like as if that'll speed it up. Not that I don't I don't want the cat to die. It's such a sweet cat, but I'm curious. Like I'm impressed. I didn't know cats could live 18 years. Yeah. I don't want the cat to die, but it's that, that it, gonna haunt you now. What? You, you, it's gonna haunt you. you well, play- if if my boyfriend sees this video and sees that I googled when is the cat gonna die, he's gonna be devastated. This kid grew up with this cat. The cat's very very sweet, but the cat lives outside and won't come inside ever since we got our big dog Lucy. And so the cat, we came in the house one day. Three years, mind you, the cat has not come inside. We walk in the house one day, and the cat is just sitting basically like this. <laughs> and we're like, oh hi, what's up? And I don't know anything about the animal, so now we officially have a proper. Uh, five animals living in the house. What? Jesus. And the house is not huge. No, I, I, are you, you're taking care of them, yeah? I mean, no, no, we don't. <laughs> we, we, they live a paradise life. I, they, they really do. I mean, come on. I've been to your home. It's beautiful. Thank you. Have you continued to put your touch on it? I know you were redecorating last time. I actually have furniture coming tomorrow. Oh. And I have pillows coming tomorrow. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a homemaker till the day I die. <laughs> <laughs> Susie Homemaker. What, how's everything else going? I mean, are you, 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 are you, you good? Oh. You good? I'm good. What, what, everything else like what? Well, I mean, you got season two coming. Yeah. 
promo coming up. Are you doing anything with Dennis? We're are doing you doing so go- much stuff. We're actually doing a concert. Oh my God, I think it's the 29th, but I'm not positive. Oh, if I got the date wrong, that's so sad. Uh, so we're doing a concert for Sirius X- XM. Hell, you can is talk that about it. That's no, awesome. is that, no, it's not, I'm not. Is that how you no. say it? Is yeah, it yeah, Sirius yeah. Sirius XM. XM. The <laughs> <laughs> they won. It's, we're doing that. And I'm singing like, five, not a concert. <laughs> it's like a big raging concert. No, <laughs> it's a small thing. I'm singing like five, six songs from the show. That's awesome. What are we thinking? Are we gonna take are, are we gonna take music to radio here, or do you think there's something? You should. I wrote two songs this year, and they made it on the album. So nice. that's yeah. amazing. Yeah, right. I'm happy about that. They're called. <laughs> you don't care. No, keep going. <laughs> <laughs> I care. No, I so, really do. The songs are called uh, uh, "Just Let Me Go" and "Don't Break Me Too." I love four word songs. Is that four? <laughs> No, yeah. Anyway, so they're going to be on the album. I'm excited about that. One of them is in the show. So it's exciting. Yeah, I'm happy. D- uh, come on. Come on. I mean, we all, we, uh, when you first landed this role, the, the, the thing was it was going to collide both worlds, right? Right. This is amazing. I'm excited. Can I'm you really walk, excited. Me, walk me through your process of writing these two songs? Like, what is it like for you? Because you're a perfectionist. Like, per- perfectionist? Yes. Like, um, you really are. You I know? am. I am. I'm really bad at recording. I hate recording, man. I hate it so much. I, I like singing songs live, and I, I really, I, I just, it's torture for is, me. Is that because it's just one and done? Of course. It's just out in the world. You can't go back and edit life. I watch your covers religiously all the time. They're not my favorites. What? The old ones from when I was a child, I had a very nasal voice. I lo- like, you're a little bit older. Like, uh, the, the last concert you did where you did concert. Landslide. Or concert? Like, I did one, no, no. maybe 30 person, low-key performance in a restaurant. <laughs> But thank you so much. Yeah, my big concert, MSG. <laughs> it's huge. You didn't even go to it, so. I didn't get invited. I'll just show up there. <laughs> <laughs> You're never invited. <laughs> Remember last year when you wanted to see me sing jazz and I told you I could try to get you a make a wish pad? <laughs> I was I was gonna travel for it. Oh. I was ready to go. Oh man. <laughs> this is a dying wish. It really is. Oh it's God. one of you, them. It's passable. You look like there's some, something's off. <laughs> you know, I went to the doctor the other day. Oh, no. I, I, <laughs> no, stop. What? I really, you know, my eyes are my eyes are uneven, and so are my what ears. What does that mean? Yeah, Height know, or no, like, yeah, ability? Like, like, <laughs> what do you mean? Like where they fall on my face. Oh, height, po- properly. Okay. Yes, one is higher than the other. Same well, thing look, with the ears. Well, look, I'll put on my glasses. I don't have them. Never Thank mind. You. Well, my, they go like this, and I thought it was my glasses, and my ears are uneven. Re- I know. Really? I know. It, it's it's how you grew up with your spine. The doctor, he told spine, me. Spine? My ears? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything's oh. connected to your face. Oh, okay. Great. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't go to a real doctor. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody, That's very obvious. Just some guy in a hut. Nice hut. Um, okay. <laughs> I don't have I flustered you. A little bit. Why don't you, you get some good do. questions out? What you're so <laughs> off your game. I watch your other interviews. You're such a boss. You're like, here are my questions. Bam, bam, bam. The people are like, wow, this is an amazing question. What? I come here and I'm basically like watching... I- I was gonna say watching sand dry. That's two different <laughs> things. <laughs> watching paint dry, watching sand fall. Well, I want to get. Do you know what I'm that. talking about in the thing? I sound so dumb. Oh, you mean like uh, the, the the time hourglass. thing, the hourglass. hourglass. Yeah, that's the word. No, but I want to get into what. <laughs> <laughs> I want to get into where you want to go because I was having a conversation the other day with Matt Bennett. It's a hard desert. And we, we, you know, you are so unbelievably talented. Thank and I'm you. giving you the middle finger as I say that to you because it's real. So and rude. Because, so cool. You're so talented. So talented, Liz. <laughs> <So talented. laughs> no, I, you know, we're, you, you do everything. You just make sure you had all your fingers, by the way. You went, yeah. you, what did you say for fun? You, did, you, you really do everything. Did Matt tell you we've been writing? Yes. Yes. But you, but it's so funny. It's so inappropriate, but it's so funny. There, it's something, there's a child involved. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm really you excited to read it. You can't say too much, it. but it's really funny. Where do it's you really want to take this? Because you really can do anything. Yeah. S- SNL should be in your future. Yeah. You sing? I you saw dance? Ari. That's yes, a story. I went everything. to see Ari on SNL this year. She invited me last minute, what? and I, you know, I'm a, I'm like an embarrassingly big SNL fan. It's kind of crazy. <laughs> I've actually wormed my way into a couple of those parties already, and so they all saw me there, and they're like, "Oh God!" And so <laughs> she's, back. she's here. She is. <laughs> Does she have some association this time? So I went there and I and no one like gave me a heads up. So I go in there and I walk up the stairs and I'm I'm not an emotional person, you know. I don't even yeah. know if I can cry, but I found out that night I absolutely can and I was very emotional and I they sat me right in the middle. Then the band was what really got me. I was just so overwhelmed when I heard like the I was like ah! 
And then and then Larry David came out, and no one warned me. Everyone was like, oh, they should have been like, Liz, like, FYI, Larry David is here, so just put that in your brain. And then I saw him, and for some reason, it was my reaction to go, like, do, like, a chicken arm, but then down, and I what? shattered my elbow on, not really shattered, but I couldn't bend my arm for, like, a month. And I, sh- I ruined my elbow, which kind of put a damper on the night, but not totally. And then I saw Ariana, and I just lost my mind. Yeah. I mean, that is... Wow. Well, as much of a story as much as I just wanted to tell you that. <laughs> no, <laughs> There's no beginning, middle, and end. No, but it's beautiful because, I mean, you grew up I with I was it. so proud of her. I and mean, it, she th- was wonderful. And it was crazy to be there. It was really insane. Do you want to do that? Do you want to do what? SNL? Yeah, of course. <laughs> Please. You should. Make it happen. Make a call. I don't know. I think this should, you should put it out into the universe. I think it's going to come knocking. Like a secret? Would you Does rather, that work for you? Would you rather <laughs> host or be a part of the cast? I think it might. I, um, sorry, I just got really congested. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um... I okay. think that I think I think I'd like to do like host twelve times, and then should I should I Fair choose enough. to be a cast member after that? <laughs> <laughs> they might have to make you one on after my that. time. <laughs> I have a I have a free year. They should let me. They should abide by my request. That's that not makes a total sentence. sense. You know what I mean? I think I it'd be it. cool. I see yeah. all the people that host like twenty five times or fifteen times, like, like Alec Baldwin, Timberlake. Justin Timberlake. Yeah. Exactly. I would love to do that. What else is on your list of goals? I, I mean, want. I'd love to get into movies, Zach. Yeah, I, <laughs> I'd love nice. to get into the pictures. Is, is that where you're going after this? You have an audition? No, it's not for that. Wait. I take off all my makeup. I have to look really young. It's such a drag because I really put my best. I really did it. I think I did an all right job today. You look beautiful. You know, today. I got. I got to look like after this. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm glad we're doing this before. I don't know. I'm auditioning a lot. You know, I keep I keep busy. But you okay? What with the home decor and the auditions, <laughs> <laughs> the baking, the animals. Well, you have promo now. How, how was working with Dennis this season? Wonderful. It's wonderful. It's always wonderful. The show has I. I you know, you sent me two episodes this morning. I wish you would have given me... It's okay. Me... I honestly... I'm not mad that you didn't watch them because I did give you... I, I gave you one hour. But but I binged this past weekend. I did... I went back and forth between Orange is the New Black and Sex, Drugs, and Rock and Roll on Hulu. Mm-hmm. So I was going back I know back we're on Hulu forth. now, which is really good. It's great. I mean, it gives a whole new life. To, I, I know mean, you guys have been binge watching. Yeah. <laughs> no, I actually... No, <laughs> honestly, it's the first time I've ever all. watched the full season of anything in my life. Really? I watched every single episode. Oh my Are we g- in love? I think we <laughs> might be. Oh, uh, we sex. <laughs> <laughs> that's sweet that makes me it, they're also really short and it's really easy to watch well that's also why I was like 10 episodes 22 minutes each I can you handle you know what this. I mean it's not too bad and it's light so this season is more dramatic though cool. for sure and we do an amazing Hamilton parody which I don't think anyone has done like we went all out I read it in the script and I was like that'll be funny but I like kept going they built a stage. They hired Broadway dancers and That's singers. Awesome. And, and and Campbell Scott, who is a famous actor, Broadway actor, he's done lots of Shakespeare. He's playing the lead role. And it is so good. And I cannot wait to see it. I've only seen half the season, so I'm really excited. Well, so, okay, that's how it works. When will you get the other half of the season? I don't know if I will. Real? I don't know if I will. I think I have to watch them with the world. And we, we you got to sit down with your family and watch it. <sighs> I don't want to. Yeah, you're naked in it. I don't want to do that. I don't want them to think that I am that way. What? <laughs> that I have any sort of sexuality. It makes me very uncomfortable. I mean, are you for real? I mean, you, I'm for real. You it's probably, also the biggest joke because, like, I don't know if you saw they put a mu- I have a they, there's a music video that yes. came out, the Bang Bang music video. Yeah. And I'm just basically looking. Like I'm like a vampire whore in it. I'm just like rubbing my <laughs> boobs, and I'm in the shower rubbing my boobs, and then I'm like gyrating on a bed, and then I'm like mm-hmm. throwing a man. Down down and it's my boyfriend saw it and just started laughing Matt saw and started laughing and he's Matt's just like this is so funny because it just couldn't be further <laughs> from you I'm like dude I was so freaked out because I didn't know how big a deal it was going to be so I kind of yeah. walked there like you have to do a music video and I thought it was I thought it was kind of like victorious when we had to do a music video which is like it's it's like a full day but it's yeah. not I'm, it's not it's it's mild it was not that I walked into what I what it looked like it could have been anybody's music video like a big star I thought it wasn't my they really went all out, and then and then I, there were sets, and there were pyro, there was pyro, like big explosions, which I'm not good at. So every time I went like this, every take I flinched. I'm not cool. I can't walk away from fire. It turns out I shouldn't be in any action movies. I did a terrible job. So I don't know. It was just funny to watch, and um, it's a lot. It was very much. I, that must feel good. Yeah, fire's hot. No. I- <laughs> what? 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 When you walk into a set and it's a they music also video. dressed me in all plastic. So what? I was in all plastic, and I was in front of a fire. So I don't know if you guys know anything about science. (laughs) (laughs) It's not the best combination. What, you get a steam in there? You you don't steam like a a plate of broccoli, Zach. You burn. (laughs) You burn to death. So I was close, but not. I didn't burn yet. <laughs> My clothes were melting onto me. I was like, "This is not hot anymore." Did you Did you watch the music video, Dan? Of course, her boobs looked great. Thank you. 
I, I, they, put me in, they put me in a push-up bra, which is not something I normally do. I wow. said, it's like, it's it's too much. That's it's, a lot. It's yeah. too, they were slapping me in the face all day. I was like, <laughs> Gee, I'm literally, I'm, clo- I'm this close to getting a butcher knife and just slicing them off myself. I'm getting sick of these guys. Today they're down. <laughs> I'm getting such trouble for talking about my boobs. I, I promised everybody on my team I would make a really, my, my team, like my agents and my publicists, that I'd make a really <laughs> strong effort to just be like a sweet, demure girl next door this year. Oh, I yeah. lighten my hair. G- are, are, do you want to? I like my hair light. No, I did. It was jet black. Oh, yeah. Do you, know, you don't Look know. You're a girl. I mean, you know how hard it is to get to this color from jet black? I did it in three weeks. Well, I'm a girl. Heather but never yeah, dyed no, her I, hair. No, I never dyed my hair. Heather cuts her own hair. Yeah. I cut my boyfriend's Terribly. hair. I did a bad job a couple <laughs> years. I did a bad job last year, man. I was like, I can do it. I can do anything. And I can't cut. You can't do that. No. Holy it was really intense. I felt really bad. I needed to go somewhere that night and it kind of like went up. Because you know when you cut hair, it goes up. Well, you don't know. When you have long hair, it just goes up after. It, 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 it calms down in like two days. You, but what is Michael's reaction in that moment? He's like, well, this sucks. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> he literally was like, I, I could have shaded him. He would have been pissed, but he just would have like gotten a snack after that. Like he's over it. <laughs> Let's keep going and ask me like crazy questions. Well, no, I just think, I think in the show, your dad is into yeah. you and I think it's weird that he wants to bang you. No, he doesn't want to bang me. Mm. He wants to bang me the first episode before he knows he's my daughter. We do kiss. Ooh. As everyone, we've all kissed our fathers. <laughs> it's not even funny. You can't even leave that in. Brr, brr. Uh, um, no. <laughs> we, <laughs> I feel bad now. It's probably, Don't. It's probably not good. I, uh, um, <laughs> you, no, he, he, he doesn't know I'm his daughter so he kisses me. Huh? He kisses me the first episode but then I I say I'm your daughter. No more kissing after that. <laughs> yeah, but it just seems like he's jealous of every situation. He's you're jealous in. because he never succeeded and he wants to succeed and he hates that I'm getting all this attention in the beginning. We're very cool cool as a cucumber this season. We're we we're very good. The 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 direction kind of changes. The energy changes to Ava. Ava, my stepmom on the show, my surrogate mother, I guess, she really wants to be a performer and she really wants to sing. So the the it's kind of a shift of power to her and he gets super jealous about her because he's like I accepted the daughter thing becoming famous. I see that happening. She can really make us money. We should let that happen. But my own, the person who's been there with me since the beginning now wants to take the spotlight from me too. So he's not good with, he's not like people beating him out and everybody beats him out because he's a failure. Wow. That's the answer. He does not want to sleep with me. I swear to God. He Filled with like a ton of <laughs> egos. What? There's so many, the, all these the characters show have egos. Is just ego, ego, ego. It's crazy. It's cr- it really is insane. I know. It's crazy. But it is real. It's pretty, like, it, it lives in a world of reality a yeah. little bit. You sure. know, it really does. Mm-hmm. So what else did you think? I mean, this is the first show that Dan's ever watched, like, from start to finish. I mean, I got to take you out for a nice seafood dinner now. I don't <laughs> eat seafood. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks Isn't for the offer, the though. Worst? But <laughs> I also thought it was a little Swing and a miss. <laughs> <laughs> but you also had to mention Ariana's name. I was like, okay. What do you mean? Like, Ariana's name oh was Oh, my God. And the first, the... that was to toy with me. That was all that was. Okay. because I was, He I was put like, it in. I didn't improv that. You think I'd improv? Oh, my, it was in, it was in the show. Yeah, I yeah, said so my, something. I was like, my line was uh, like, "He's worked with all these big pop stars, everyone from Rihanna to Jennifer Lopez to Ariana Grande," <laughs> and like, it's a totally legit thing if I'm not saying it, but it's just it crosses the, it's like the fourth wall. Yeah, because it's weird for me. It's like if I said. This radio host is bigger than Zach Zang. <laughs> At that point, you just turn to that, the camera and wink. Like, you know? I couldn't do it. I could, it's weird. I'd say, but, you know, you think of people all the time say p- other people's names in shows. I just didn't. I just, it felt funny. Is it crazy that it's getting... You know, I love watching you do your thing. I love watching Ari do her thing. Mm-hmm. Even Matt and everybody from, you know, Victorious and mm-hmm. that whole little Nickelodeon crop of, like, in unbelievably talented people. Mm-hmm. Right? Like, it, it's pretty... We talk about it every, maybe like every time you come on, at least a little bit, you mm-hmm. know? Yeah. Is it still surreal to, to watch Ariana? I mean, even like. No, I just, uh, I just always anymore? expected it. Yeah. Saturday Night Live it. was surreal for me. Yeah. That was surreal. Everything else, I always thought that. I always, I lived with her and I knew. Yeah. She's just super knew. determined, super talented, and it just makes complete sense. It's crazy. Sure, it's crazy. Yeah. Like, but I don't, fr- when she's on the, ra- it's like old hat. You know it, what I mean? It makes, she's, she's, it's, it's been a while, you know? Exactly. And I never, I always expected it to happen. It's so. Pr- you too, dude. You too. I love seeing you on buses. That was my favorite same, thing. Jesus, man. Same thing. Way to just twist the knife. Yeah. I'm like, I love hearing Ariana on the radio. You're like, and you're on buses? <laughs> Bus stops yeah, too. Bus. <laughs> the bus, the one in uh, the Burbank bus. <laughs> Jesus, man. I'm trying, okay? <laughs> and you're on the bus? That's going to be my new thing. Uh, <laughs> when are you going to put out your own album? Liz Gilly's album. Oh my God. I know. I actually am not going to, like, every time on the show for five years, I've said, 
I don't know, guys. <laughs> I would love music from you, man. I know. I am technically putting out two songs this year because I did write them and they are coming out on an album. Yeah. I need to just... I think my whole thing is uh, songs to me are like a tattoo where... I just said songs are like tattoos and I feel like Joni Mitchell once said that. She's like, songs are like tattoos. All right. Um, anyway, I feel like songs are like tattoos <laughs> where you have to like them for a long time before you yeah. put them out. If you write a song six years ago, a lot of the time I'll write a song. I'll think it's amazing. I'll be like, this is going to change the face of modern music. <laughs> and I'll listen to it a week later. I'll be like, this is garbage. <laughs> so that happened to me a lot, a few too many times for me. And the songs are actually quite good, but they're not. They're not the, at the level where if I'm going to put something out, I've also put too much pressure on myself. I've never put anything out. So now I feel like if I put anything out, it has to be amazing where I the feel thing. like I should just start releasing music to get that out of my head. I, I agree There are like five you. songs I've now liked for about three years and that is good enough for me. But, so. I, but I also think like if you took those songs to like a producer and like you matched your, you know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. creative minds collide, even you go to Michael, you know? Yeah. We try not to. We try not to mix. It's <laughs> you, never good to work with you. You don't shit where you eat. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's always one. <laughs> how will how yeah. how is your music different or compared to the music in the show that you write? Like how is Gigi compared to Liz in real life? Because there's kind well, of the songs I wrote, I love. I really love them. One is really weird. One is um, I actually my my when I did a little production on it when we first wrote it, I wrote it with um with Michael and somebody else and we it was strange it's a very cheeky song one of them this song just let me go and it's very like uh it's almost Bowie-ish in a weird way very che and I'm not comparing myself but a little influence the other one is more bluesy it's like a blues song a piano blues ballad and I love both of them I would sing both of them what I listen to as I've said a thousand times it's just I listen to I unfortunately listen to Cat Stevens all day long I listen to 70s folk rock <laughs> which Dennis hates wow. he hates it so much and so like if it's just he crumbles every time I bring it up if I bring up Jim Croce or Cat Stevens or Johnny Mitchell Dennis literally like he shuts the door in my face he's like get out of the room <laughs> who is he influenced by like he's writing a lot of the music right is he producing these with you yeah we we, 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 wow. we were in the studio and he and we did the he chose the production because it has to sound like the band you know what I mean yeah. like I put my demo forth but it has to sound like the band sound in the show otherwise it doesn't make any sense so blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I have songs in the show. <laughs> is that a little bit... So when you're writing, are you writing through a lens of Gigi? Or are yeah, you I was for this time. 100%. Okay. Yeah, I had to. I mean, I wanted to get them in the show. I wanted, awesome. I wanted to get that. How much Liz is in Gigi? Because you make some sarcastic comments in the show. I'm like, that could be Liz. Yeah, no. Last year, last year she was kind of... She's way more serious last year. She was very like, everyone stop drinking and partying and let's make me famous. And that's why I'm out here. And it was a little like, enough, Gigi. But she, she, <laughs> she kept the band... She kept their heads on straight and she was the... She was the adult in the band, and uh, she had a lot to... She was reining everybody in, so she kind of had to be that way. And now, this year, she has fun, and she's just trying things, because there's a death in the first episode this year, an old friend of theirs, and so everyone has these midlife crises, and I have a mi uh, quarter-life crisis, because everyone's like, you haven't done anything, you have to live, you have to have a threesome or a lesbian affair or something, or go out and drink and have fun, which is, you know, we talk about this all the time. Yeah. We've done none of these things, really, so we don't... Zero. Well, maybe we've done a little more. The last year, we're starting to grow up a little bit. Like I'm a gin drinker now, so that's a change. <laughs> 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 Baby steps. <laughs> by the time I only have one, but still. By the time we're forty-eight, we'll be there. We'll be there. We'll be ready for our three-way. Then we'll die. Yeah, <laughs> and not with each other. Have you had? A, have you had a three-way? I have a question for you. Do a absolutely, of course not. B, do you think I would ever answer that on this show right <laughs> I now? Don't, and I talk don't, about it. you're not Howard Stern. I'm not. Uh, talking I'm about just this one, with you. Yeah, but I. But I. I'm not going to lie to you. Have you had three-way? <gasps> He hasn't had two way. Like, <laughs> yeah, I gotta get you that prostitute, man. You <laughs> pick. I'll give you a, a, a choice of ten. Have we told this story the day I got the phone call? Yes, you told the story last really? time. It's true. It's I. I don't. I stand by it. Oh, yeah. Is it illegal though? Prostitution mm -hmm. depends where you are. Exactly. I would have taken you to where it was not <laughs> Thank you. illegal. Vegas, I don't remember what I was That's saying. A sign what of was good I saying? Friend. Thank you. Oh, so she basically she basically just goes out and she makes a checklist, a bucket list, basically, and she yeah. she decides to live a little more. She's she's I'm much more like her this year. She's she's cool. She has way more like legitimately sexy moments than I do. But all of her goofy moments, all the moments she screws up because she's a buffoon and she's not sexy. That's me. Like every like she when she's with the girl, the girl is so sexy and confident, and she's just she is a blubbering mess. She just doesn't know what to do. She's she like takes a shot and spits it all out because it's too much alcohol. Like she's a disaster. It's the it's she like will look great and then be a clown, and that's kind of how. Oh, really different how side I to her. A really, really different, different side. side. Much more like me. And then she has all these sweet sides with um, with Flash with Corbett. Like a lot of bed scenes, not even like 
where they not sex scenes but like where they're just laying in bed and they're talking and it's these intimate little relationship moments like romantic comedy type stuff which I've never done and sweet there's a sweetness to her a vulnerability so that was really fun for me what did you learn from doing this last season that I, that I was happy that somebody that I finally got material in my career where I could do something other than the snarky witty little bitch <laughs> Truly. I mean, I, I don't want to do that any, anymore, really. And I'll do, I'll do little pieces of it, but I'd like to do other things. So. I saw that in Vacation. I watched it. Well, that was it. That was it. That was like a cameo. That was like a standalone. Yeah. I don't consider it like my top 10 greatest roles. <laughs> have I even had 10 roles? Why am I on this show? <laughs> <laughs> well, now that what? you've had these other things, is it annoying when people still call you Jade? No, I understand that. No, I mean, that's the most, that was the biggest it's like fans, that's what they see me as. But I will tell you, because they're so, they just associate things so much with how you looked on the show. Ever since I lightened my hair, yeah. when I have black hair, I have no chance of going to a mall. It's just a disaster. <laughs> when I have this hair, I might as well be a garbage person. <laughs> 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 What's is that the proper name for the job? Yeah, <laughs> just an insult. <laughs> I know. I like they just don't. I'm not a human, and not only it's just they just don't. They wouldn't know. They wouldn't know. Sex, drugs, and rock and roll on FX. Yes. June thirtieth. June thirtieth. Liz Gillies, Dennis Leary, dudes. It's really. I mean, come on, man. Congratulations. <laughs> you always do this when you try to fill time. You're like, come on. I mean, right? <laughs> yeah. <gasps> I love you. Wait, that, yeah. Can I, can I get your first thought when you had to put those. <laughs> Things Pasties on, on my boobs on my and like, nipples and some of your other outfits. You're like ass is hanging out. What was your first thought when you looked in the mirror? Don't you eat a donut tonight, Liz? <laughs> <laughs> Don't you do it? And I, di- I did it anyway. I discovered this restaurant, guys. I ate the most I've ever eaten this last season. I did, so far I have I've been all right. I've gotten away with it, but I don't know what's. I really ate the most towards the last five episodes, so I got to wait and see. Where, where'd you go? Oh, everywhere. <laughs> Everywhere. And then I told you I had this weird I had this weird thing happen to me where I would like an old movie star, like a 60 year old retired actress I, or, or something. I'd be like, I need a shrimp cocktail and a gin. And then I'd call my friends and they'd be like, I don't want to do that. That sounds horrible. And I'd be like, I need I'm like, I really need cold seafood and a gin. Mind you, I never ate seafood. I didn't drink gin. I don't know what the hell's going on. And I would go to these. I'd sit in a beautiful restaurant at 11 p.m. because you can do that in New York. You can't do that here. No. Thank you very much. And I would sit there with like a cocktail, <laughs> like a gin cocktail eating shrimp. And I would just like chat with different, with friends. And it was so strange. I'm just, I get older. I'm like Benjamin Button. The, I'm like, <laughs> but not, but not. I go, I leap 10 years instead of one. So I was 40 last year. I'm 60 this year. I'm telling you. Jesus. No, that's not the right math, but it's just, I'm, I'm gone. I don't have anything in common with people my age. Whatever I had is gone. Yeah, but you still maintain like a, a group of quality friends from they're New all, Jersey. They're all such old souls. Oh, Oh, those friends. Yeah, totally. Well, they they grew up with me. Yeah. You need to keep people you grew up with around you. They're good eggs. I like them all. You haven't met all of them, but I mean, I, no, I like don't the, get cocky. I like four. Of, four <laughs> you cr- met four of them. Yeah. Kristen, Kristen Chelsea, yes. Shannon. I think that's it. I see. Yes. Just those three. Yeah. Well, there was somebody else. There's a boy there. Ch- One, Chelsea's boyfriend. Boyfriend. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Liz Gillies, Sex, Drugs, and Rock and Roll, June 30th. Any uh, other questions? Yeah. Um... <laughs> just came prepared well no I was looking at lines sometimes people compare you to like Amy Winehouse or like Liz could be kind of like that that must be a lot of That's pressure because she is Amy Winehouse um, I never heard that um, you haven't? no but that's I really like Amy Winehouse. That's cool. I could do that. I wish I was co- I was as cool as Amy Winehouse. Like I think Dan's flirting with you. No, I'm like not. he has I'm, the marker. Just do it then. Don't teeth. even bother your. <laughs> Are you he has Liz, phallic. Liz told me once. Liz already told me we're having sex tonight, and she wants to take me out to dinner. So I don't know who's doing the flirting. I think lying. it's her. I, I'm not. I'm just being. I'm just being honest and assertive. <laughs> Which is um, first. First of all, I'm a married woman, so watch it. The last time you were here, you you did say you wanted to bend him over your knee and spank him. I said he needed a spanking. Oh, did uh, I say all that I went as far as saying he needed uh, to bend him I, over? I, I no. think yeah, Keith, really? Keith says yes. <laughs> Keith says yes. Well then it's a yes. <laughs> we could do that. How about that? That's a, you, you wanna Oh, you, I'll get in so much trouble. No, do it. That's so dominatrixy, it's not C- good. It's Dan, not I'm not I told you I'm trying well, to get rid of this image. Dan, yeah, will you let the whole second season is about that? Dan, will you let mm-hmm. Dan, will you let Liz Bend you over her knee and spank you. I don't want him over my knee. I'll slap my. I'll slap your hand. No, as, I want. <laughs> I want her to slap my ass with her pasties on. Oh, that's Jeez, a little too much. Like, I, I'm not even lying to you because I have an audition after this, and I just bought like a sports bra. I literally have them in my bag. I well, have them right here. C- can you take them out? I just want to see what they look like. They're small. I can't believe we're doing. Cover your nipples. They- They're really small. Yeah, but I need to picture in my mind oh, okay i can't find them right now you're I'm disgusting time. No, you, the, the, we have time <laughs> we have, we have, we have time, time for pa- we have time for pasties there's always time yeah. for pasties um 
I'm really trying to soften this image, guys. It's not working out for me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in a, you know, oh god. Guys, I don't know where they are. It's not important. We could just go through your bag and see what else you got in there. What, um, what do you keep in there? Adidas sneakers? This is my, this is my, aren't I cool? Shell tops. <laughs> I, I lived in Williamsburg, and so I got. I can't find them. I got. I, I got those. What do you call them? The shell tops. Are they, are, but are they? Are, have they have a name? Like super superstars. Oh, superstars. So um. I, I I saw everyone wearing them in Williamsburg, and I bought them. Okay. And I felt really cool. My brother's like, "That's really cool." Is do you think you're Kylie Jenner? <laughs> <laughs> and it's like he he totally toys with me. I'm like, "Stop! No, I don't. Don't I look cool in these?" He's like, "You look really cool. You're trying to be Kylie Jenner." He's like, "Is that your is that your biggest inspiration?" Do you <laughs> look at her Instagram? I'm like, "Stop it! You're making fun of me." He won't let me be trendy or cool. <laughs> he makes fun of me. I don't know anything about the trends of today. I bought those because I saw everyone wearing them around me. They look comfort- comfortable. No, I mean, like, yeah, they, those were cool. And if yeah, I guess, Jenner, I guess all the cool girls wear them, but I didn't know that at the time. <laughs> yeah, but I wore those when I was eight years old in elementary You're making yourself school. sound like you're an old man and she's a little girl. You're around the same age. Kylie Jenner. Yeah, that's who you should date. You should yeah. date Kylie Jenner. Yeah, that- Let's call her. Who has her number? Has she been on this show? Yeah, she has. Well, you have her number then, no? No. You have her contact. I do. Call her. I've been keeping up with the Kardashians lately. You like that show? I had never watched it before. I, I don't know how I missed the well, whole thing. It's quite. <laughs> but I, I missed the whole. I missed the whole thing. They almost years. lost people. But I'm There's... now keeping up with them. Good. Good. <laughs> Watching the episodes. Yeah, I mean the they... episodes of the Keeping Up with the Kardashian show. <laughs> <laughs> they got some problems. They're just a wacky family. Yeah, they really. I've never met any of them. We. Not one. No, I don't go out, and I don't go to... A no, but like not at like a Kids' Choice Awards or something? No. I also miss meeting Michelle Obama at the Kids' Choice Awards, the that one I didn't go to. The best person I ever met no. at the Kids' Choice Awards, like I'd run into like an old Nickelodeon star, and I'd like, my face would <laughs> Danny blush. Danny Tamborelli. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but I never, I never ran into the president's wife. Oh, I saw her. And it's framed in Matt's apartment, and every time I go over there, I just scoff. I just look at it, and that's, I get angry. Wow. That's, I mean, she was there with Taylor Swift that year, the year you got, you won your first Kids' Choice Award. She was? Yeah, because I was Maybe there. Maybe we, we didn't have enough merit at that point to... To meet her. Well, I, you came to me right before, after you got back. Uh, you got off the stage after winning. Yeah. And I was broadcasting, like doing like the behind the scenes thing. Cool man. Uh, do you know, <laughs> it was such an amazing moment. I'll remember it forever. It was really nice for all she of you. She was like, "Excuse me, could I please have an interview?" No, I'm not talking about the president. I'm talking about you when and we your won? kid's choice when you won. I made nutso faces when we won. I was like, <gasps> like I didn't know what to do. It was amazing. It was fun. It, it was a really amazing moment. It's the last thing I've ever won. Yeah. <laughs> You win more. Why are you laughing? I'm dead serious. It's not I funny. I Although I did read on a list that I am like maybe the 37th person in line to maybe get nominated for an Emmy this year. Wow. Because mm-hmm. you know how it works. The first 37 always get the Emmy. That's awesome. <laughs> I won't be nominated for any Emmy this year, but that's all right. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I don't yeah. care. <laughs> It's important. Wait, last thing before you cut me off. Yeah. Matt told a story when he was on the show, and I'd like to retell the story because I want to make sure everybody knows yes, the story. Yes, go ahead. We were at a club where I was singing, and we were all ordering drinks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this one again. And uh, we were with me, my boyfriend, and Matt, and Zach. And so we ran around the table. Everyone was ordering drinks. <laughs> and Matt said, oh, I'll have a glass of red wine. At the time, I think I had a vodka on the rocks. I just yeah. had one. I'm not really an alcoholic, but I just I like to cut to the chase. <laughs> My boyfriend had the same. And Zach said, I'll have a lemon drop. <laughs> like a, like, he said it like that, like a, like a sweet little uh, troll in a fairyland. And we were like, what? So then they came back with the drinks and they said, red wine, two vodkas on the rocks, and a lemon drop for the little miss. <laughs> We we made up the last little miss, but he might as well have. It it was a bright yellow. I know I know it was just holding your show, but I want to say it again. It was a bright yellow champagne glass, sugar rim, and a swirly mystical like a like a it was like a wonderland. It was like a, it was a. I wanted to jump in. It was the sweetest thing. My daughter, if I had a daughter, would drink it. It was just beautiful. It was a phenomenal beverage. I sure it tasted. Matt tasted it. And he's like, unfortunately, it tastes great. That's the truth about it. That you know, but that's me. I can't do the hard liquor like you know when we drink. I, I just. Uh, you know, I'm trying to get into the wine. You know, I'm trying to like, I'm. I'm yeah, wine like makes wine. you fat. Does it? Yeah. Really? Okay. A little bit. Oh. I think the lowest calorie. I think it's like gin, tequila, vodka. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm no scientist. <laughs> I think that's it. If I'm not crazy, not that like I just have I have one and then I'm I'm ready to I'm going I'm out. You're done. I'm not out. Like I'm not on the floor, but I'm. It's over. You feel good. The night's over yeah. for me. Good. But I don't have any. I don't. I'm not like a big drinker. So I like the taste of gin though. <laughs> that and cold shrimp. <laughs> I love it. Why do I love it? Ew. That's disgusting. I know. Ugh. That's yeah. 
Uh, oh. Come on. You're getting a little bit too old too fast. I'm too old. It's, I'm too damn old. Yeah. You going to get married? Can I ask that? Sure. I don't know. Fine. Yeah. When? You call. You call. Your call. Pick a date. Pick a date. <laughs> I feel like I'm married. That's it. Like, do you need a I ring I mean, on happily. It? I feel like I'm happy to be married. I go to restoration hardware and I pick out furniture <laughs> and I bake and I make sure the dogs are fed in there. And I, I'm actually, my boyfriend does that. I'm not. The dogs would all be literally one on top of another dead if I, <laughs> if I was in charge. I'm not excellent at that, but I actually am. It's just, you know, it's like the thing. It's like when you know someone else is going to do it, you don't do it. Exactly. It's like everything. It's like when your mom would clean your room compulsively as a child, you just didn't clean it because you figured it would get done. Always get done. So I assume that's how I think about their lives. <laughs> Should get a They're sixth great. One. They're all really good. So are we thinking marriage? Like whenever, because you're kind of in it now, but you don't really I think need I'm a little ring. Young. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm a little young. Wouldn't you say? Twenty two. Is that no? how old you are? I'm gonna be twenty three in July. Oh yeah, you're way too young. I'm way too young. I mean, listen. Next time you, I don't hope for this, but you could come and be single next time you're here. Oh my god, he's out of control today. I, he really. I are you just like? Are you on fire thing. in the mornings? Is that what it is? I, I usually come a little later. N- no, no. I think he's feeling confident. I just enjoy having you around. So what's going on with you? I just enjoy having you around, Liz. Do you know know he's never been on a date in 25 years? I don't go on those things. You're 25? Yeah, why do I look? Do I look younger? No, I guess you look 25. I'll go with that. Um, (laughs) I went on a couple dates once my mom made me. Yeah? Yeah. Do you regret it? No, it's always a story. Oh. Just go for the story. Just get through oh. it. They're all going to be bad. You're never going to meet anyone you like. Exactly. So what's why just waste go my time? for a because go for a story. Make them feel weird. Make them cry. <laughs> this is what I used to do. That would be something. There you was would one like. guy I went out with. I, I shouldn't name. Never mind. We shouldn't do this. But anyway, no, tell me that. <laughs> no, 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 no. First of all, I've taken this interview. It's way too long. I know that. And I, no, I love it. You need to tell me that story now. No, it's I just it's strange, strange men. Okay, okay, strange men. My mom made me. She's like, you need to. I told you last time. It was yeah. a certain point where my grandmother, my great grandmother, my mother, everyone I knew was like, we don't know what you are we don't know what you're doing because i just had no interest i was yeah. just a men- mental case so i went on in these dates and i would just basically do therapy sessions i'm like did your father ever love you <laughs> and they just start crying like i would just whip out these because i'd be so damn bored they'd be so boring that yeah. i ha- had no choice but to make it interesting for myself they'd cry and then they would just be so confused at the end that they didn't, no one ever tried to kiss me which i'm like what the, am i am i that unappealing i don't know if they were scared or sad because of the questions they never went near me so i was just like i'm not gonna grab you it's i'm not touching you so i said just drop me here well wait i don't want them to know where i live so just drop me at the corner it was horrible but date dating is great Sounds it's fun. so fun guys it's so fun that's a psa for dating it's crap but do it you need to you know he's never he's never bought anybody a gift either i don't like dates i don't like gifts that's weird i love gifts i'm amazing a birthday a valentine's day a holiday it's it becomes it's a i make it a martha stewart wonderland it's my favorite thing i don't like getting them i don't like giving them it's just awkward he has problems so many questions for you yeah good childhood bad childhood great (laughs) childhood did your father love you or (laughs) get it okay well that's another day. Another story. That is, you How about can, Liz therapy session? You can, That's what we should do. I like that. Liz, just the three of you, four of you, if you'd like. Yeah. That's. <laughs> you want it? You guys just do it. We won't record it at all. It's pure confusion. No, we can just take what you like. From- <laughs> <laughs> okay. Whoa. Um, we should do that. I'm down for that. You want to do it? Yeah. Sex, oh. drugs, and rock and roll on FX June 30th. <laughs> Liz Gillies. <laughs> And Dennis Leary. And binge watch it now on Hulu. That's right. Seriously, do it. It's it's the most convenient thing in the world. I love it. <laughs> a lot watch of ads. it because it's convenient. Yeah. I mean, there's not a lot of ads. It's great. No, it's gr- <laughs> It's amazing. I feel like I should have put cold spoons on my eyes this morning. I feel a little puffy. <laughs> Jesus. Don't I? You look beautiful. Liz Gillies. You're amazing. Everybody, Zach come Sang. on. Come on. Zach Sang. Come on. Beautiful. Liz Thank Gillies. you, guys. And you, I really think you made Dan's day. He just... I'll make his night. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I won't. I'm going after this. I have to leave now. Thank Bye. you, guys. Bye. I really don't care. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Look at the bubble letters. That's nice. She's still going. I like it. It looks great. I want people to see it.